Let's dance. Ha! Not like this. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back with another video today. But this time I'll be going over how to play Keepers. Keepers is a really, really uh, interesting comp to play. But generally, your Keeper carries are going to be Kennen and uh, Zaya. And the best chance for you is to hit a Keeper Kennen and then giving him, you know, GA Morellos and I think Ionic Sparks the best weapons for him to use. Or best uh, items. I said weapons, sorry. <laughs> but it is a very, uh, I, like, I like to think it's pretty straightforward. In fact, for pos positioning, positioning is kind of like super weird. But I use the TFT guide. The TFT Tactics Guide to, for positioning, and I rarely ever, rarely, rarely ever strayed from it. There's also quite a few, quite a few variations of playing keepers, right? You can play four keepers and elderwood, six elderwoods. You can also play executioners and keepers. So, but in this comp, like I said, Kenan's the main carry, and then Zaya's like the secondary carry. I don't know why it's like that. But it is. And just a reminder, we have about, what, three and a half, three weeks? Probably from when this time gets uploaded, we have about three weeks before the new set comes in. So, now's the time. If not, that when is a good time to try to gain some LP to hit your achieved goal of what rank? So, anyways. So, I start off the tier. As you can tell, my intent was obviously not to go keepers this game with the tier start. Actually, when I go keepers, it's never my intent. <laughs> oh, so here we go. First item. Whenever I feel like running over and getting it in this game. It's a pretty nice opener. We got a couple of pairs here. And I get a rod, right? This this is looking like a mage game, possibly, for me. I also consider running spirit sharpshooters this game with this start. With those of you who don't know, oh, I, said, I think it was Soju. Might have been Soju. It was one of the challenge master challenger players where they said three lock. It is a little uh, little much. Like, two's ideal, and one's, like, okay. Having two lockets. For Diana. And Spirit Vanguard. Or, sorry, Spirit Sharpshooters. But, thanks to the Nidalee and the Jarvan given here on top of Garen. And hitting an early Kennen. That this is looking really good. So I sold Nidalee off so I can pick up Garen. I should have sold Diana off and put Garen Jarvan in, which was a mistake for me. The random invade as I was playing this game live. <laughs> for those of you I haven't yet, if you do want to watch me live, you can come follow me at twitch.tv at jellyslayer19. I go live. I try to go live every day, if not every other day. It just depends. My sleeping schedule is kind of ruined. But anyways... Uh, we're going to level up here, put in Garen, put in Jarvan. That way we got Keeper Warlords going on. I mean, with these items, I've also considered going Warlords. It's kind of similar for those of you who watch my Vanguard Mystic game. These, This is a very, very similar start item-wise. I mean, I could slam an Ionic Spark early and a Cannon, but then it kind of forces... It doesn't force me, but I feel... if. It, I'd be pretty uh, set either going like a tanky comp or, you know, keepers, like I said. We're going to end up losing this round anyways because Duelist is, is strong early. And that guy also hit an early Darius, so that's always a little unfortunate. So we got, 
one of our pairs finally passed, ca cash out, you know, hitting a level 2 nidalee, which is always nice early. Uh, so the game plan here is still kind of open, right? I can still go Warlords. I can, you know, with Katarina carry with these items. Maybe Nidalee, maybe, uh, my mind just blank. Maybe Trindomir carry, but more than likely, this is hard to pull off. Generally, I won't know what comp I run. Unless I hit, like, early cultists like I did in one game during the stream. Uh, at, by, by Krug round, right, at the, you know, at the end of round two here. Generally, I, like, 90% of the time, I know what I'm going to run. The other 10% of the time is because I can't decide and I have to pivot into something else. Into whatever I can get my hands on, really. Because <laughs> I'm either playing a comp that's contested, or just can't hit sometimes both but with that being said all right all right so, so i vaguely remember what i even did this game but this is going to be another loss i believe because this guy's got Chosen Warlord. Which is also why I chose not to go into Warlords this game. Generally, I don't like to play Warlords when I'm being contested. I mean, it's possible to play when one other person's contesting it. But, you know, why even force it when I can play something that's uncontested? Which sometimes even now for a while I've got Masters. But, you know, that's whatever. So, carousel around here, I think I'm looking at picking up a BF sword. But, you know, I'm second to last to pick, so, you know, I just gotta pick whatever's left there. Oh, actually, I'm unlucky. I lost by RNG. That was actually last pick. So, I pick up a chain vest in hopes of getting a GA. Along with this couple of swords for when I go cat carry for warlords. But also chain vest is nice just to have GA for a running keeper. So it's a very flexible item. I run GA very, very often in my games. So here I pick up another rod. And at this point, I was like, I'm going to run keepers. Because I still got a rod for Morellos. I got a tier for... Uh, Hand of Justice, also called a Hodge. And then a Chain Vest for GA. So, it, it works out in the end. And I'm playing uncontested, so it's like a big win all around. So this guy's got Spirit Sharpshooters going. Actually, that's my friend I played with in this game again. <laughs> so he's try he's going Spirit, Van Spirit Sharpshooters. And my Nidalee just whipped her spear like an iron, fucking iron tier Nidalee. Which is unfortunate. It makes me take an extra damage because she didn't kill Kindred. So at this point, we're just focused on econing, you know, so that way, you know, without, like, really killing ourselves. So, like I said, there's a, so I'm just now scouting, seeing what everyone else is running, and I come to the realization that no one is really playing keepers. But that doesn't mean that somebody will always pivot into it in games. It's kind of rare to see somebody play keepers for some reason, maybe, like, There'd be like one person, one other person, or none playing keepers. This guy does have keepers and Kennen, 
but it's a chosen uh, warlord Jarvan that I'm like I'm pretty confident he just has Kenan in for keeper synergy because Jarvan is his early game carry along with Tristana. <sighs> So there's a couple ways to play Warlord, by the way, so it is super flexible for those of you that do play it, like to play it a lot and is contested, so. I just Wukong, bought Wukong here because saves me money and it's a Vanguard, you know, early Vanguard's kind of like big apes, big what apes, but. <laughs> so going through the Krugs. As we wait for the items to drop, if you are liking this video or enjoying what you're seeing, go ahead and give this channel a sub. Give it a lot. Give this video a like. That way you know when I come back. <clears throat> the next video I'm gonna upload here, probably in the next few days, is gonna be a League of Legends video. And then maybe I'll release one more TFT video. Another guide similar to this. I don't know which comp yet. I'm thinking I'm running maybe a cultist one, but not 100% sure. Cultus is pretty straightforward and dry. But. Um, so we got a glove from that round and a lot of money. So I got a Hodge, which I just throw on Nidalee because I know I ain't going to keep Nidalee later. Put a rod on Kenning because I know I can turn that into something later. Whether it be Death... Morales ideally, but if it turns into a Death Camp. Or a Gunblade. Or not Gunblade. More likely Morales. But... It's just a big if. And it's only level 1 cannon. So. This guy's running mages. Mages is pretty difficult to pull off. I've yet to pull it off successfully. So. In a while. It is definitely a harder comp to win with. For sure. Uh, so we got given another Nidalee, which is nice, and Duelist Fiora, which is kind of like whatever. I don't have anything to put in if I level up. This is the guy who's holding one of my cannons, but like I said, I'm pretty sure he's just pivoting to something else. Okay, guys, it's Warlords. Like, as you can tell on his bench, he's looking to go Warlords. This guy is running, uh, I think he's going to try to run Shyvana carry, but, or Cultist, but it's hard to tell. I mean, having Jewel Gauntlet and Callista is also, like, kind of weird. So, I think this guy is, like, still learning how to play the game. So, oh. I mean, I'm playing on my second account in this game, so this is, like, Gold Dilo. I think I think it's gold elo. Might be high silver, low gold, so where people kinda starts getting the basics a little bit. So you hit level three level level three, I fucking wish. Level two Garen, which is really good. And I just hit level six. I have no idea what to put in at this point because I haven't hit another keeper. So I just throw in Darius for the hell of it. And picked up Nunu for some strange reason. That is totally beyond me. Running through war through warlords early, like level two warlords, is really <clears throat> is really nice. Gives you a nice like early game ab ability to fight it out and not you know kill yourself from losing repeatedly. Like some of these guys below me, like being at. 50 HP at this point in the game is kind of like really detrimental. It's like going 05 in Summoner's Rift and praying to God that you can have a little bit of luck in the game to come back. That you can tell that 
before even this fight's over, there's three of these guys at the bottom at 50 HP, which is like really dangerous for these guys at this point in the game. So carousel round, I believe we're looking for a sword, which gets taken. Second choice would be a belt for Morello's, I believe. Which it's looking like it's on that Cho'Gath. Uh, third choice would either be T or Glove. So we can build towards another Hodge. But we got the belt. We're getting our Morello's, so that's really good. Uh, so we got our belt, right? Making more Ellis. There we go. And then we're just going to power level. Spending our excess money to... Excess money, I should say. I mean, we're on a three-round winning streak somehow, running this. Which, like, I don't understand how. Besides that, the three guys at the bottom are, like, really, really weak. So I can tell you now, like, playing in plat or diamond elo, like, I'd probably be, like, at about 60 HP at this point in the game. Probably 60. If not, 70. But, it's fine. I even speak, beat the current leader at the time, which was my friend playing Spirit, Spirit Sharpshooters. Which I believe he played a contested this game. There was, an, I think, another one or two people playing it. Uh, so we level up, spend our excess money. I put it, I pick up Kale. And level up and put her in because it'll give me divine and I'm going to need Kale later to have a couple of executioner stacks going. So it's all fine and dandy. Uh, so this guy still holding one of my cannons for some reason. He has spirit executioners going. I don't think he knows what he's doing because I can't even tell what's happening on his board. Unfortunately. But it is TFT. It is casual mode. Anyone can play it. <clears throat> so I hit a keeper cannon, which is really, really good. So I just sold off my one cost. I don't. I know I'm gonna see him again. He's he's gonna come back. So, and we are level seven at this point in the game, which is really really good, really good pacing. I'm pretty sure I'm the one pushing the pace of this game and pushing for levels, <clears throat> which is not always bad. Sometimes it can be a detriment, but not all the time. Uh, so I pick up a couple of belts, a couple of chain vests, right? So I have two chain vests, you know, so I just need two swords, ideally. And I got a war mogs. Also, it could be banner of commands, which I can put on Rakan later. Depending if I'm fortunate enough to get four swords at this point, which is very, very, very unlikely to get four, four swords between now and after the next minion round. Alright. Very, very, very unlikely. It's possible, but I wouldn't get your hopes up if that's what, if you ever get in that situation. Uh, so this guy has a level 3 Kench, which is, as you can tell, really, really annoying to play against. But we are still looking pretty strong. I'm still looking for my fourth keeper. Regardless what it may be. Uh, 
Uh, so I pick up Kindred here, I believe. Actually, I do not pick up Kindred. I just focused on level. I lied. I lied to you. Sorry about that. But we are getting really, really close to level 8, which is pretty, pretty good. Level 8 at like 4 3, like playing like this kind of style, is hitting it really early. Well, I shouldn't say early, hitting it early. So, oh, this is the mage comp again. Who has a really, really tanky Annie. And I lose this round. Which is fine, because I'm, I'm having the second healthiest in the Slavia. I can afford to lose HP. So I just hit A. I'm rolling to see if I can hit another keeper. Which I do not. Ideally I should have dropped off Darius and put in Kennen. But that's okay. Like I said, I'm kind of I'm pretty healthy at this point. I'm not gonna afford to lose some HP. Now, so at this point in the game, and I had like 30 HP, then I would have rolled it down, and we could have been in really, really big trouble. So we looking to pick up a sword and we're last pick, so it could be very, very, very unlikely. You know, you just get left with like to pick up one of like three items left. So I think I end up picking up a cloak here. Yep. Why did I pick up a cloak? Oh, I think I picked up a cloak so I can make a stone play with the one that chain fans, because I didn't think because at this point, I believe I didn't think I was going to get at least one sword <laughs> for GA. Which is, like, really, really bad at keepers. Like, GA is probably your most important item on Kennen. And Zaya. Uh, at this point, I'm trying to econ back up at this point, so that way I can slow roll back to 50. Or slow roll. Uh, so this guy hit our, my friend here, level 3 team, Owen Trist on Spirit Keepers. He just doesn't have any lock, which is really, really bad. But he does have a, a fawn, which is helpful, running that comp. Which, considering how strong he is, we got really close to winning that. So I bought Elise here. Finally my fourth keeper, which is a pretty big spike. Elise is just a placeholder for now until we get, uh, until we get Azir. Uh, so you can tell we have a lot of synergy going on, but I still have no Zaya. <laughs> or Rakan. Rakan's a really good keeper, too. Ideally, you want to run Zaya, Rakan, Orn. That way, you have Elderwood. 
and let alone ore gives you really really good items so Oh, so Minion Round. We are here at Minion Round, the last one where we get separate component items. It's all good. And then I hit Orin here too, which is really nice. I put Orin in over Wukong. And I hit Zaya too, which is really good. So now we have our six keepers and our three executions, which is really, really good. It's just a matter of getting them to level 2 and 3 now. And finding an Azir. And a Spat. So I got a lot of useless items, unfortunately. <laughs> so, well, I shouldn't say useless, but there are a lot of tank items. So Hodge is really good on Zai, one of her best items. I think I make, what do I do? I think I make a War Mogs. Yep, there we go. I make a War Mogs on Orn. I make a Chalice on Rakan. And then I'm pretty sure I make a Vanguard, yep, for Orn and Kennen. And then a Frozen Heart for Rakan. Because Rakan's generally going to be in your back line after he ults. In their back line, so. It's really good. And my League of Legends game just started. Oh no. Awkward. There we go. Uh, so, 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 so. So we got our Orn Gorn making us items. You know, I, the, the nice thing about this position I'm in, at least I can put Orn item, a Orn item on Zyle. Which I believe I get quite a few this game with how long how long it continues. So I just hit level two Zaya, which is a, a huge spike. I'm also very close to level three Kennen. Which is another big spike in this comp. I just have no GA, which is the only downfall right now. Yeah, so generally you want to get GA for both Kennen and Zaya. So usually if I have a double chain vest start, I like I like to go into keepers. If if I'm not going to Vanguard Mystics. Or Warlords, just a really tanky warlord. So I mean we're still we're still relatively healthy for this kind of at this point in the game. It's also kind of rare to see seven people still alive <laughs> at 5-2. What the f Oh, God. Anyways. Uh, so we're rolling. Uh, I hit Azir and Azaya, which is really good, so I can drop off. Yep. Drop off and lease. Kuchu, Kuku, you know. Have it where Zaya is kind of like in the middle of the keepers. And Ken is getting three shielded. The one mistake is I should have dropped Ore in there, so he picks up the Chalice buff from Rakan. But that's okay. It's, it's no big deal. And, hmm. I can never resist an invitation of dance. Uh, so yeah. So, I mean, we're still sitting in second at 39 HP. There's quite a gap between me and my friend who's running... Who's running spirit sharpshooters? So we have quite a bit to catch up there. <laughs> uh, so, but it is looking pretty, pretty good. What do I pick up here? I think I picked up. Oh, I picked. I don't know what else to pick up here. It was either between Rageblade and Rapid Fire for Kale. I have no use for a Duelist Bat in this comp. 
So, uh, so I just picked up Rapfire for Kale so I could just put her in the corner, more or less. Actually, I think she's already in the corner. Make sure she doesn't have to move from the corner. Actually, no, make sure I can put her in the corner. So, uh, <laughs> the best pot for a Kale without a QSS in the corner. Uh, so we got our first Orn item, Blitzhook, which is really nice. So I just slap it on Orn for now. I think it's because everyone was mostly lining up their units in the left-hand corner. Hitting level 2 Orn's a really big spike. But that is all. Okay. Back at it again. I could have hit a level 3 Orn, I think, this game, but... I didn't attempt to try to. But we are looking really, really strong in this. As you can tell. Poor professor, can you please get out of here? Thank you. So you're probably, oh, I was going to say, you're probably asking yourself what we do now, but there's level 3 cannon. Uh, there's a very, very small possibility I can level 3 Zaya, but I don't think it's that important. As important as hitting level 2, I was going to say Jarvan as soon as I did it. Level 2 Rakan, uh, Azir, and, and I guess Kindred, but level 2 Rakan is really needed more than level 3 Zaya. Having level 3 Kennen is really, really good put me in a position to actually win this game if I wasn't already, you know, based on the amount of single HP, single digit HPs left in this game. You have the heart of a weakling. This guy is a level 3 Brahm. Uh, this guy went Wukong carry in a Vanguard comp. That's why he's falling off. Besides, he also went a Brahm carry without Sunfire. Brahm literally does no damage without Sunfire and Ionic Spark. So this is going to take me a while to kill him, as you can tell, because of his stupid war mods and dragon claw. Do I even kill him? Okay, I do kill him. It just took a moment. Uh, so there's a Rakan, one of our Rakans, and I get another rapid fire. Like, really? Like, if that was a rage play, that would have been really good for Kale, but that's okay. It's okay. Draven. And so, ugh. <coughs> Sorry, I was reacting to what I have to play with in solo queue. Ugh, fucking lord. No fucking fun. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Or people. Uh, so at this point, right, I put my rap fire in his ear because... I mean, Zaya makes it where she can't, like, she doesn't ult. <laughs> or she ults way outside her, like, just short of her auto range. Uh, but this is Spirit Vanguard, the lobby leader, obviously. So. As you can tell, we are just trashing that comp with the three-star cannon. Which, also having an Ornn item with the Blitzcrank cook is also helpful. Oof. Uh, so we hit Kindred here, which is nice. I'm looking for a third Kindred and Rakan, and just whatever Zaya's and his ears I see. So there's one. If I ever did go nine in this game, eh, that just happened. If I ever did go nine in this game, uh, what would I do? I'd probably just put in. A, probably a, uh, in this position, probably, probably a spirit, probably Yumi. If, if not more, uh, a third warlord like, uh, Trendomir. What's another good one that's a warlord? But... 
Uh, so there's my second Azir. Found my seventh Zaya, yeah, my eighth. And there's my level two Rakan. Sold Kindred off because having Kindred's just a synergy holder, like a third executioner. It's really not that important. Like Kindred to hit level two in this comp is probably like at the bottom of the list. Like I'd rather have three stars Zaya over two star Kindred, which I'm sure most people can agree with. <laughs> In any elo. As you can tell, it's just me and the spirit guy left, so it's not too bad. But she has a three-star kindred. Okay, back in. Alright, so, at this point, I see a Zyle with the glove. We just go for it. Alright, this gives me level three Zyle. Which is really, really pivotal and good. Pro this, this pretty much allows me to win the game at this point, I believe. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but level 3 Zaya and Cannon is pretty strong. And this was pre-buff on 11.7. This was on 11.6 when I did this. So this is even better. I believe I put this on Kale. Yeah, because Kale can use it really well with her uh, ability. So. Uh, so. I mean, he's really strong. I mean, he hit some a lot of 3 stars in that comp. So he just still has level 1 Samira. If you have level 2 Samira... Maybe he has a chance. Maybe. But. I think I end up just. Just. I think I, it takes me another round or two to knock him out. But. Actually it takes another. Another one. Another one. As you can tell, he pretty much just has to, all, all he can do is hit level 2 Samara. And all I can do is hit level 2 Azir. And then, <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we can do besides for me to hit Kindred. But, I mean, level 2 Kindred's just meh at this point in the game. At round 6 going to 7. I mean, he has 9 units to my 8, so... There's that. Best part about this, I ran this without GA, which is really, really difficult. You really need GA in this comp. The good news is, after this round, too, I get another Orn item. So that's always good. I mean, he's got a death cap on the deck, which doesn't do him a whole lot of good. I mean, he can put it on Yumi, I think, but or Kindred. I think he, I think. Oh, wait, I think he already has one Kindred. So you can double stack it, I guess, on Kindred, but. Do I even need QSS against this comp? Oh yeah, because he has a Zephyr, so that's really good. And then as soon as I put QSS, I wish I had that item instead to put on Zaya, but, you know, whatever. Too late. Damage is done. I think I put this on his ear. Yep, nope. Yeah, I put it on his ear. There we go. That's what I thought. Putting on Zaya made it where she can ult more often, which is, like, pretty ideal. Oh, he did double get Death Cap Kindred. But it is all good. And just like that, we, that's a winner. Beating out Spirit Sharpshooters. I mean, he kind of didn't have that good of items. I think he had double lock at this time. But that is how you do it. And after that was my fifth placement game. So this, this was literally the game right after the Vanguard Mystic one. 
So, thus in the five games I hit gold for. So, uh, with that being said, if you did like it, please leave a please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. You know, like I said, I may do another one. If not, I'll definitely drop some more when the new uh, new set comes out. Next video though is going to be a League of Legends one. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. I am here to entertain myself mostly, but you too. Be right back. Will you? Who can know these things?